Hi guys, coming into the well, probably fifth, maybe sixth hour of the build. Um, so spread it out over two days, but whew, I'm getting to get a little bit knackered now. So um, the track units are done, as are the last video, um, and I fitted it all together with the hull. I bring the camera up a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Okay, so all fits together quite nicely. The main bit for this was the back plate itself, which was completely supplied anew. Uh, what I had to do was take the back plate of the original plastic bane blade and cut that out, which fit into the slot provided really quite nicely. Two engine blocks. Four exhausts fitted into the back. Took, took a couple of attempts. The fit is okay. Um, it took a couple of attempts, hence the kind of white crust of green uh, of, uh, of super glue that's around there. But uh, it's I don't know. I'm 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 quite liking the back. Uh, I've also done the top hull plate. Now the main change here is this bit. So. Uh, what I had to do was cut out round the actual rim uh, of the original Bane Blade uh, turret ring, which actually sat over here. Uh, it took a little while. I used a saw, hobby knife and clippers to get it out. But tell you what, once I actually cleared that, fitted this bit in, fitted like a glove. So kudos to the uh, manufacturer to Blood and Steel Ind Industries or Machinator 248 from eBay, because that's a really nice fit. Um... The, the the I've had more problems honestly with the with the with the instructions from the Games Workshop kit because these nine pieces round here are detailed into going round here, but there's also another nub there and there, um, and I have no clue what they're there for. And I thought they were supposed to one of these guys was supposed to go, and then it it didn't. So yeah, mildly confused by that and a little bit frustrated, but I think that's just how much time I've spent on it so far. So um, this this is going to go on. Start, start going to do the uh, the turrets, uh, and then we're going to be done. Probably build time, including cleaning. As I say, probably going on to about six, seven hours now. So um, when it's all finished. So cheers for watching. Cheers for subscribing, guys. And the next video will be this all done and a bit of a review of the kit, uh, both GW and uh, eBay kit as a whole. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.